Hi everybody, Sensei Matt Dorsey here, ready to teach you guys a special class on uh, using some of the different pieces of equipment. Now here's the thing, I know I can't see you uh, live, but this is going to be a way to practice hitting pads, blocking, moving, and things like that. We're gonna use the equipment, or actually I'm gonna use the equipment, and you're gonna do some things with me with that. So I want you to start off like this. Show me your focus position, standing nice and straight and tall, and do a bow of respect. Good, and we always start off class this way. Now, make sure you have a little room around you because you're gonna be moving on these exercises. And the first thing I wanna start with is some hand pads. All right, you guys use these at your school, I'm sure, at your own dojo. And I'm gonna have you do some techniques for me here. So, I want you to take a sparring stance. Show me that sparring stance, that fighting stance, good. And if I put up this pad, I want you to give it a punch with your front hand right on that pad. Ready? Punch. Good. Again, punch. That's it. Now, if I put up this hand, do your reverse punch. You know how to do that one. That's with the other hand. Ready? Reverse punch. Reverse punch. All right, here we go. Front punch, reverse punch. Good. So when I put up the pad, you do the technique to the target. Now, let's make it a little more interesting. If you make a mistake, and of course, you're the only one that's gonna know if you made a mistake by watching the recording, but if you make a mistake, I want you to do three jumping jacks and then get back into the game. All right, so be ready. Here we go. Good. That's it. Oh, again, good. Sometimes it might be doubled. That's it. Good. Good, if I put them both out, it's a front punch and a reverse punch, or a back fist and a reverse punch, that works well too. Yes, good, good, that's it. Remember, if you make a mistake, you owe me three jumping jacks. Good, all right. Hey, now I'm gonna add another technique to it. I want your back leg roundhouse kick. It's gonna hit the pad when you see the pad down like this, you do the roundhouse kick over there. You ready? Oh, good. Ready? Good. You can do a high one too if you want. Ready? Good. All right. So now we're going to put that into the mix. Good. That's it. Good. You got to be quick. Remember, three jumping jacks if you make a mistake. Good, good. Yeah, good. All right, good job. If you did some jumping jacks, that means you were honest when you made a mistake, so good job. Now, here's another one. This is a fun drill with just some punches. So I just want you to stand straight and give a punch across to one side and across to the other side. So when I put up both pads, you do those two punches, at, uh, one after the other. Put some power into it. Take your guard, hands up, and two punches. One, two. Good. Again, one, two. Remember, it's a cross, one side, other side. So you're crossing them. Ready? Good. Good. That's it. Good. All right, now here's the thing. After the two punches, I'm going to swing the pads out like this as if I'm trying to get you on your head, and you have to duck and get away from those, so it's going to slap over your head. Now, if I get you, if you didn't duck fast enough, you know what to do. Three jumping jacks. Here we go. Good. Good, oh, you might not have to duck every time. That's it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, be ready. Good. Yes. Good. Good. 
Good. All right. I hope I didn't get you there. But if I did and you did your jumping jacks, then it's all good. All right. The next drill is uh, doing some blocking. So take your guard position. And I'm going to use my nice padded sword. As if you're in front of me, I'd be hitting at you and you can do your blocks. So here's what I want you to do. It's take a horse stance position or just kind of an upright horse stance position. I'm gonna have you do your different blocks from here. So do a head block, head block, side block, side block, down block, down block. Good, so two head blocks, two side blocks, two down blocks. So watch which way the, the pad's coming at you because that block is gonna be first, one, two, and then at the middle, Good, and then down and down. Now after those moves, you're gonna do something else in a minute. But let's start with that. So ready, block your head. Block your head. Good, side block, side block. Down, down. Good, here we go again. Good, are you blocking them? Good. If you made a mistake, again, you know what to do. Jumping jacks, here we go. Good work, all right, I bet you're getting good at this. Now, after those six blocks, I'm gonna make a big swing across at your head and you have to duck when it comes at your head. And then I'm gonna do another swing at the legs and you have to jump to get away from it at that point. So stay focused on me, if you make a mistake, you know what to do. Here we go. Get ready. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get ready. Get ready. Good. Ducking and jumping. Again. One, two, three, four, five, six. And a duck and a jump. All right. Good. Here we go again. Ready. One, two, three. Four, five, six, and big duck, and big jump. Nice. All right, this time I'm not gonna tell you what to do. Follow along. Hey, good job. All right, that's a fun game, and it uh, gets you working your blocks, and it gets you uh, exercising with your ducking to work your squats and the jumps of course, uh, for your leg strength as well. All right, I'm gonna grab another piece of equipment and uh, we're gonna do another drill here. So hold on one second. All right, I got my padded bow. Now, similar to what we did before, but this time only dodging. So it's gonna be swinging at your head for ducking, swinging at your legs for jumping, and I might aim straight down at you. If I go straight down, you have to be ready and jump to the side to avoid it. All right, so you're avoiding that one by going sideways. Let's give it a try. Ready, jump to the side. Good. And then come right back to the middle. Here it comes again. Jump to the side, good. Here it comes again. Good, now I'm gonna swing it. You know what to do, duck, jump, and duck, go. I'll give a move to the side, that's it. Ready? One, two, here it comes. Good, so your movement should be from a guard, you duck, you jump, and you go to the side. All right, side stepping, it's a great drill for sparring too, here we go. Good, did you get away? Nice, here it comes. Good, all right, one more time. And to the side, good. You're doing ninja moves right there, very cool. All right, now we're gonna go back to the um, sparring stance again. And this next activity is both working on your skills and your focus and your memory at the same time. So take your sparring stance. Good, when I say one, I want you to do a punch with your front hand or a back fist. Ready, one, one, one. Good, when I say two, it's a reverse punch. Two, two, 
two. Good. Now remember, what's one and two? Good. Now we're going to add three. Three is a front kick. Three. Ready? Three. Good. One, two, three. Good. Now as we start playing the game, I'm going to call out the numbers, and I could say them in any order, and you try to do the right technique. If you make a mistake, hmm, this time two push-ups. Hit the ground, give me two good push-ups, then get right back into the game. Here we go. From your guard, one, two, three, three, one, two, 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 one, three, three, one, two, one, three, two. All right, hey, good, that's good work and it's good exercise. You're having to remember the techniques and do them at the same time. I bet you have to do uh, a couple of push-ups in the middle there, but just jump right back into the game. But sometimes three techniques is too easy. Let's go to four. So four is a roundhouse kick with your front leg. So that's gonna be on four. So let's review the numbers. One, two, three, four. All right, let's do that. Ready, four, three, one, two, four, three, two, two. Oh, I made a mistake. How about that? I should do my push ups. All right, ready, two, one, three, two. Good. Don't watch me. Do it on your own. Two, one, four, four. Three, two, two, one, four. Hey, how'd it go? If you did some push ups, it means you're being honest. You made a mistake and you took the consequences. You did your exercise and you got right back into it. So, good job. These are fun drills to do in class and it might be something that your senseis do a similar type of thing with you. Uh, but I like these because it keeps you active, it keeps you focused the whole time. I hope you had fun with that class. Enjoy the rest of the Super Summers experience. And uh, I hope to see you again in another class soon. Thanks for being part of Super Summers this year. It's important to keep our tradition alive and you guys are a part of it now. Sensei Matt Dorsey signing off. Bye now.